Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see how to delete multiple entities from the database table using delete all methods. Well, basically delete all method is from crude repository interface. And if you can able to see here, there are two overloaded delete all methods. Well, first delete all method takes list of iterable entities and second delete all method does not take any method arguments. All right. Let's see how to use these two delete all methods to delete multiple entities from the database table. Let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let's write a piece of code to see how to use these delete all methods to delete multiple entities from the database table. Well, let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let me minimize this and let me quickly create the method over here. Let's say delete all method and the return type should be wide all right and let's annotate this method with add test annotation and let's head over to the mysql workbench and let me trigger this sql statement that is select star from products and you can able to see there's a only one record in the database table okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one more record into this products table. Well, in order to insert one more record, I'm going to run this save method test. So this will basically, you know, insert this product one entity into the database table. Well, let me quickly run the test case. So this will basically insert this record into the database table. All right, test first and let's head over to the MySQL workbench and let's select rows from the products table and you can able to see there are total two records in a products table. Now we are good to use delete all method to delete these multiple records from the products table. Now let's go back to IntelliJ IDEA and go back to our method here and let's call product repository object and let's call delete all method over here so delete all method basically delete all the entries or the you know records from the database table all right that's it now let's run the test case and let's see how this delete all method works and how the hibernate will you know generate sql statement behind the scene for this delete all method well let me run the test case now There we go test passed and let's see the output of the test case and here you can able to see hibernate has generated a couple of sql statements so first one is to select all the records from the products table right so when we were using delete and delete by id methods that time hibernate generated you know select sql query to select a particular particular record right but in case of delete all method Hibernate basically execute or create this select SQL query to select all the records from the database table, right? There is a no where clause you can able to see. This is a plain, you know, select SQL query to select all the records from the product table. Next, Hibernate will trigger individual delete SQL statements to delete individual records from the database table. Well, if you can closely observe this SQL statement, Hibernate first select all the records from the database table and then based on the records it will get it will create the delete SQL statements for example in our products table we have two records right so Hibernate behind the scene created two you know delete SQL statements to delete two product records from the products table right and if you can see the where clause here it will pass the ID to delete that particular you know record from the products table right and let's say if there are five records in the products table then hibernate will create five individual delete sql statements to delete five records from the products table right so this sql statement is to get all the records from the database table and then based on the records it will get it will create a delete sql statements and pass and then it will pass id to delete that particular 
record from the database table all right i hope you understood how this delete all method works and how hibernate will create sql statements behind the scene for this delete all method well whenever you have a requirement to delete all the entities or records from the database table then you can go ahead and use delete all method well there is a one more delete all method which takes a list of iterable objects and if you can see in a mysql workbench let me select a rows from the products table there are no records in the products table right let's first insert couple of records in a products table and then we'll see how to use delete all method which takes a list of iterable objects so in order to insert multiple product you know products objects i am gonna execute this save all method so this basically insert two product records in the database table so let me execute this JUnit test case and there we go test passed and let's head over to the mysql workbench and let me select rows from the products table and you can able to see there are two records inserted in the products table now we are good to use delete all method to delete these records from the database table and you can able to see the id 5 and 6 okay now let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's write the logic to use delete all method to delete specific entities from the database table okay now what i will do i will comment out this okay and i will get a product individual product from the products table well in order to get a product by id then what we need to do is we need to simply call find by id method and if you can see the id for the records for you and six right so we need to pass for you here all right and then call get method so this will return a record that is product record with id for you similarly let's get one more entity from the database table by using find by id method let's call it as product one product repository and then find by id method and just simply pass six as id and then call get method perfect now we have two product entities okay now we are good to call delete all method right let's call product repository and then delete all method so make sure that you choose delete all method which you know takes list of iterable objects this one let's select it and it expect list as a method argument let's create a list here and just pass product comma product one it means that we are using this delete all method to delete a specific entities from the database table we are not deleting all the entities we are specifying here the entities that we are going to delete from the database table right so let me run the test case and let's see how this delete all method works and how hibernate will create a sql statement behind the scene all right test passed and let's see the output of the JUnit test case and here you can see a lot of sql statements generated by hibernate so we have called find by id method twice right so these two find by id methods you know behind the scene create sql statement so this sql statement used to retrieve a product with id for you this one and second sql statement that is select sql statement to retrieve a product with id 6 all right and remaining these four sql statements you know that is created by delete all method and again you can able to see there are two delete sql statements to delete two entities from the database table in our case we are deleting two product entities right that's why you can able to see there are two delete sql statements all right i hope you understood how this delete all method works and how hibernate will create sql statement behind the scene for this delete all method all right great i will see you in the next lecture